Hello everybody, welcome back on MDG Media. This is the second practice round of the year. We are in Copenhagen, Valby Disc Golf Park. Amazing place, sun is shining. I have three amazing guests today on the channel. First on the tee with me, Samuel Haninen from Finland. Let's introduce yourself, my man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Samuel Haninen from Finland. Uh, how are you doing today? Everything fine, ready for shred the course. Yeah, exciting. Uh, we have a second guest from uh, Zetch Republic, coming back from the States, Jakub Semerad. Uh, hey man, how are you, man? good to see you, good, how good. are you? Oh, good, all good, man, so <laughs> uh, You feel good about the course being back in Europe? I haven't played it, so I don't know yet. But, but I feel pretty good to be back in the Europe, yes. Amazing, man, and uh, you had him last week from Iceland, Blair Ör Asgjertsen. Oh, your name was perfect, he said. No? Well yeah. said, well said. Yeah, so you know him from Iceland. How was Belgian Open? Great, a little bit muddy, you know, and I didn't <laughs> play good, but it was fun. Very okay, good. so uh, you guys are ready to show the lines to everybody? Yeah, hole one is a par 475 meters. You don't need basically any distance, but some people are still gonna go with driver, try to get as far as possible to have an easy approach, but I think I'll just go with fairway driver, try to hit my spot and don't go in the OB. Yep. Okay. I mean, that's safe. That's, that's not how it's done, but... Safe. <laughs> that's safe, that's safe. You can birdie. It's, it's, it's still a birdie. I don't know. <laughs> I might go to safe. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's perfect. There is no Mendo or anything, right? No. Yes, there's I don't think so. left, yeah, the left the tree on the Oh yeah, there is Copenhagen a under the sign. But yeah. That oh, yeah, yeah, but left side you cannot go left. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Is it a driver? Yes, it is. Oh, perfect shot. Pretty That's high pretty speed nice. one, but I might might take lower speed. That's nice. If it misses yeah. everything, it's gonna catch some bread. Oh my. Still, Almost a bit yeah, long. Still, still fine. <laughs> Do you think this course is easier or, or harder than Belgium course? Oh, ah. mm, kind of even maybe harder, yeah. Okay. okay. Birdies are harder to get, but uh, maybe not so many like bogey risks. In Belgium, if you miss a shot, you easily get a bogey. Yeah, exactly. Way, I, way more risk in Belgium, both with But, but way more easier trees. birdies in Belgium, I would say. Okay, the yeah, first ones are easy here also. Some, you have some uh, muskets here as well. Yeah, I like this. I don't wanna... If you go with driver, it's kinda easy to fade out there. Or if you are flipping it, you can go there. But with fairway yeah, driver... I was not realizing that the, the OB was so tight yeah, on the yeah. side. And this is still kinda... Should be oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. Should I, be I easy. understand the fairway driver now. Yeah. So this is where my disc finished. This is why I don't want to go with uh, full speed because it's. I think it's kind of easy to fade out to that OB or if you are flipping the driver, you can go there. But with fairway driver, I don't think you can reach any of those OBs and this still should be kind of easy approach. So let's see. Not like this. It's easy. Oh, yeah, nice cat. And it's the perfect It is cat. easy. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> shot. I think in the approach, there's a like low ceiling gap. So you, if you get like a really good approach, it makes it much easier. But it's easy to fade out left OB or flip it to the right. So you really have to be careful on this one. And hold one short approach. Usually we see a lot of mistakes here. Mm -hmm. At least for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Thank you. Go for it. Oh, first putt. Blair, Darren. Hole number two, 143 meters. 
uh, par 4, maybe a bit on the easier side. You can choose like whatever line is comfortable. You just don't want to hit the flower bushes on the way. You can go like forehand on the left side, backhand, just play like for a bit longer upshot or then you can go crazy, throw hyzer over there. We don't think that's pretty good also. Or just forehand, flip over the like flowers and go for eagle. I'm gonna try that one. Nah, but it's still okay. That's fine enough. Just don't go in the bush and it's okay. I like to throw back and low line flex. I think it makes the gap the biggest and it's my go-to shot usually. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, that's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Easy. I don't know what to do. I throw forehand on practice and then on the competition I probably still throw the backhand. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hey. You need to flex it, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Oi, para. We think that fire should be pretty good. You always say that. Oi, para. Oi, para. You have to learn that word. And what does it mean? It means, like when I threw a this disgusting shot, you can say, Oi, para. Oi, para. Oi, para. Nice. Like Oi, para. Oi, para. Were you trying to go that line? No. Okay. No, really not. Okay. Oh, there is so much space here on the left as well. And it's not OB. Oh, man, but I... you can't really throw hyzer from the tee. You have to throw flex because it's like, if you're throwing hyzer, that, that gap is like one meter. You think so? Yes. Did I throw mine flat or hyzer? You threw hyzer, that's why you threw it there. No, I'm there. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. So here, you probably want to land on this like, big area on the left side and then throw something over the trees try to put it close there's ob just behind the basket so try not to go for too long and then just don't hit any trees on the way then the more you push the more comfortable you are yeah from the the longer you are the more it opens like the hyzer yeah exactly from here you have to throw maybe like a grenade or forehand or yeah. i think yeah, i could go like hyzer over there even from this part. We're gonna go for the hyzer. <laughs> My, you're screwed. Yep. But if you can, if you have a like big forehand or you're lefty, then you can like go over the bushes. And yeah, it's not worth it. Is that worth the risk? Are you going to try that in tournament? Probably not. Probably not. Just throw a forehand in the gap, middle gap, and yeah. try See. to keep it oh, under perfect. the branch. Just how I planned it. It was a bit softer than I thought. But if you go to here, it's easy part, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. That's true. You were in? Yeah, I was stuck in the tree, it was perfect. Thank you, man. So, hole three, it's 267 meters long. It's quite far, it's a par four. And we have a couple of different plays here. You can throw the huge anhyzer and try to get a lot of distance on the tee shot. You could try to go through one of these gaps. I don't think many people will do that. And you could throw roller, forehand, whatever, just to be safe. So yeah, let's go. So easy to go, Obi. No, I don't think, but it's hard to get distance on that one. It's not the best wind. Yeah, I kind of kills. it. <laughs> Should be good. Oh, it might roll a bit. Oh, you stop. Yeah, I'll stop there. It's a, like you get the distance like pretty easy from that one. Yeah. You, but but you, then you can get in trouble. 
But if you hit Early. it, then you just throw hyzer. Yeah, just take part. Exactly. Take, if you are hitting part. it, you are most likely taking par. But yeah. at least for me, it's kind of easy to go OB, and then you basically can't. With take air part. shot, even. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But I think you still get a bit longer on the yeah. uh, hyzer yeah, route if you. This is better because it's gonna swing more. Yeah, more height. Exactly what you yeah, want. Yeah, and it's like eight left. Perfect. Still par. Too yeah, hole four. Hole four is a par three, 133 meters. Nothing special, just throw your kind of straight fairway driver or driver and let it fade, don't go OB. It should be a chance for birdie. That's birdie? That's birdie. I have to get one good shot on this one. We need a good shot from some buck. No. No. I just want so. to throw there. So nice place. You just want to take all of your bad shots in the practice and not in the competition. Yes. Exactly. That's smart. Where are you Mumbler. landing? Blair. Oh, oh my god! Hey, that's a Blair I know. What was that? Wind is killing me. You are talking about that kind of It's not possible. How am I doing this? But it was too high, I guess. Too high and high Yeah. Who is it? The wind didn't help, for sure. Blair was here last year, last year. No, no. I was here in 2017. 2017? Yeah, so long time ago. Okay, okay. And a lot has changed, so I don't really know the yeah, way. Okay, okay. Was it when you were 12 and 95 kilos? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Hole 5, 106 meters. It's a roller hole. I like it. Uh, you can also crash a forehand up there. If you go like super high speed, then you can go left. Uh, right side OB, but if you go like inside enough, then you probably like slow the disc down in the tall grass and have like maybe 10 meters to something like that. But really hard to park, but you shouldn't take a bogey on this one. I think this might be close to OB, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I wanted to curl it. You like, almost went past the uh, high grass, yeah. so it like yeah. rolled extra fast. I would I would have wanted to go a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully lucky. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, <laughs> it might be oh. so good. It can be still in circle. But I want to be way lower. Yeah, yeah. No, no need to hope for it. Oh, that's and perfect. that's perfect. Have, have you heard, have you heard have, guys, have you heard about what Knut always does? No. Like on holes he thinks are really hard. He always goes and meditate. So he was struggling a lot with this hole yesterday. So up there in the tree, you can see a wild Knut meditating, preparing himself for this hole in the tournament. He always does this. 
my god. Knut. This guy, what the heck? Knut is up there. <laughs> what the freak? Because there's some holes he really struggle on. <laughs> Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. You need you no know, meditating uh, the bogies away. No, I'm not taking bogies. No, because I'm meditating them away from for you. Oh, thank You're you welcome. so much, man. How is the meditating going? Are we interrupting you? Yeah, a little bit. But uh, sorry, good. I'm sorry. I think I got like five bogies away. Nice. Yeah, keep on going, man. I'm, I'm not... Okay. Sorry, man. Sorry. Okay. So, hole six, par three, 102 meters. Uh, it's kind of basic. You just have to hit this gap in the beginning, keep on going straight, and then you go into the trees where the basket is. It's possible to go to the left side or the right side, but I think 90% of people will go the straight gap, either forehand or backhand. Let's go. Oh, I'm not sure if I trust my forehand here. Oi para, what the f... Oi para. It was oi para. Yeah, it was not uh, very smooth. Not good, man. Okay, That's, that could be the play, but I wow, too bad. Easy busy. Sheesh! 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 Yeah, good shot. That was a good shot. Woo. Okay, par. I don't know. Nice. Same part. Same, exactly the same. Correction. <laughs> okay, hole seven. Uh, last year's playoff, I lost in this one, so now I have to dial it in like really much. So you kind of probably gonna go forehand. I, I think I'm gonna still go backhand, just a bit straighter. You really shouldn't miss this one. I missed it. I threw it like 11 meters. Then Mauri made a path from like 50 meters to win it. And that's how it was. But this year, I'm not gonna give that chance. Yeah, this oh, year, I'm just gonna... He's nice. not missing this year, that's for oh, sure. Yes. That's that year, that is, this year, this is the worst shot I'm gonna throw. That's pretty good. Oh. I think the easiest mistake in this one is to go long, nice long OB. Yeah. And then all the shots go drops on, so. It'll slip. Yeah. Still There's a good. lot of sand on this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good shot. Nice shot. And this is like the windiest yeah. green. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna. From is it always dirt. this direction? It's usually actually from there. So the oh, whole so 18 the forehand is, is... Forehand might be good. And yeah, that might it's be probably... Good the wind. That's why the forehand is more popular. Okay. Hey, Max. That's over one meter. Oh, what? 8.5. No, it's huge. Yeah, your your steps are like... Yeah, one, here. Nine two, nine. three. Four. And I'm measuring the top, so it's yeah, probably it's closer. It's seven meters only. <laughs> yeah, I think it's seven. 
think it's then. <laughs> so what, 30 feet? Oh, good. No, 33 feet. Is it like 10 meters? Yes. So hole eight. It's probably the shortest hole on the course. 68 meters. That straight tunnel. Nothing to think about. Just hit the tunnel and made the putt. Don't hit the tunnel. Can think much. Can think too much. Yeah, yep. and now you have to think. <laughs> Try one more. That's perfect. That's ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. I'm go forehand now. That's pretty good. Yeah. Why if you go through, you have a bit. Yeah, exactly. Noise. Oh! So, hole nine, par four. You can throw forehand. I'm gonna go with the like backhand turnover, something like slower. I, I just don't want to go so much on the right side because there's more, more trees on the right. Anything that makes the gap, you probably have some look, but the longer you get, can get it, the easier the upshot is going to be. So try to have an Anheuser or forehand that doesn't hit anything and it's all down. Those are good, right? This looks really right. good. That's like perfect. What do you think? It's good. Good enough to have chance for birdie. Oh, Come on, go through. Good shot. <laughs> it's a putt. So the like the optimal optimal drive would land like here. Then you have the biggest gap. It's only like 60 meters from here, and, and you can kind of miss it. There's backstop even behind the basket. If you're on the left side, then you have much like tinier gaps but there's always a gap. And if you go like more on the right side with the forehand or something, then it gets tricky as you can maybe see from the camera, like there's gaps, but they're gonna be pretty small. So you wanna keep it in the middle where there is no grass, then it's perfect. Oh yeah. Woo. He is nice good. Wow. He is good. Uva. Geek. Geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, either you or me needs to do it. Because Jakub stole too much. Uh, I couldn't. Okay. Well, you pressure on me then. On Max. You both laid up. <laughs> Why are you laying <laughs> up after, <laughs> after going for it? <laughs> Voila! Second First doesn't try. count. <laughs> oh, Max. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, I really like to mess with you. That's okay. The best thing about your pet, you, you guys are editing this, so you can make it look like this, right? <laughs> So we have uh, par 3, 111 meters. Um, some say you could go hyzer over there, but I think, you know, the flex shot with an overstable fairway driver maybe could be the option. 
maybe forehand or some on the left side. And nothing too dangerous, no B, no, nothing major. No, that's too long. Yeah, I think oh, you... I think oh, I skipped, good. sorry. I'll skip. It's, it's shorter than it feels. Yeah. That's good. Get in. Get in. No. Skip in. No skip. No, good just shot. park. Yeah, this I think it's this parked. It's it's a so park for sure. Oh my god, Jakub. Ay. So, hole 11 is a par 4 with a triple mando, pretty close to a tee pad. It's probably just about hitting that mando and then you will see if you have something. I think you just need to focus on hitting that mando and that's it. But I think I think you can also throw backhand and still have yeah, a Yeah, just like chance. backhand and easy yeah. upshot, but if you like make the gap go a bit past like the first trees on the right, then birdie should be like really easy. Yes. <laughs> try again. Hey, try ma hey, yeah, yeah. a couple more again. times no and oh, we are says, not, we are not gonna have Mando anymore. And Break the wall, Max. <laughs> Break no. the wall. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Lila. One more, one more. I can make it. Absolutely. That's in. Woo! Decent, decent. Okay. Birdie. Birdie. Okay, hole 12. Uh, the backup hole probably gonna be one of the toughest birdies on the round, I would say. You're either gonna go over there, forehand on either left side or right side. I think most common would be the forehand on the right side. It's pretty, pretty low line, so that's why not many backhands. I might go for like sky just crash it down or then a roller from the right side gap. I feel, I'm, I, I'm quite feeling like the roller could be the like best play to make it birdie. You think that's perfect? Uh, too much right maybe. Too much right. <laughs> the wind just pushed it. The wind it. took it, yes. But I feel like it looked perfect. It looked perfect in the beginning. I If the wind's not gonna take it, that's perfect. This might be really good. Yeah. It did kinda. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what you want to do. That's perfect. I don't know how, but somehow I end up in the sweet spot with the roller. And now it's just kinda straight shot. I'll go forehand. Go in. Wow. Woo! 
Oj, gud leja. Oj, pada. Is that Jakob's Jacob. shot? Yes. Jakob. You just forgot your bag or you left it there on top? Pretty close here. What am I doing? Oh, and Sampa just saved gigs. Okay, so hole 13 is super short. It's 75 meters and we have this road on the left side that is OB. So it's super touchy if you want to go backhand, but I guess most people will go with a forehand on this one. So just stay safe and try to park it. Let's go. Ah, it's fine. Oh, it's, it's quite short. Yeah, that's good. Of course. Backhand is hard. Yeah, super touchy, but oh, it's that's not perfect. Shot. Not hard for my axe. Great shot. Good, good, good job. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's Woo. nice. That's so good. Nice. Ring. Well, there's this one tree, but... Yes, that's the tree I was talking about. Yeah, I'm you're not it... gonna hit it. So, hole 14 is a par 4, 189 meters. We have a double mando here, so... We just need to make sure we are hitting the double mando and... We still need to get some distance. We don't wanna fade, fade too much left. But if we do, there is still a play over the top, probably. And yeah, I think I'm... I'll just go with fairway driver, just to try to hit the gap. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Great shot. Wow. What else do you need? Maybe two perfect. Yeah, no, it's is it, is it oh, too close from the trees? I, I think it's fine. Probably not. If you go too far, you will have the trees in your face yeah. and then you can't even go over. Amazing. The wind is pushing. Kind of perfect, but 12 short. Yeah, the, it's it's going to be tough if it stays this windy in the tournament. Yeah. But hey, that's the perfect Icelandic conditions, you know. Oh yeah. Okay, hole 15, maybe a little bit of a bonus birdie. You really can mess up right or left side on the bushes. It's going to be really hard if you end up there. So you really want to hit the gap, give yourself a look. You can, you can get a, like, in this wind at least, it's really hard to get it really close, but otherwise it should be pretty like normal shot. Fade. I'm trying. Ace. Ace for 10k. Oh, that's not parked. Yeah, that's not parked. But that's cute. It's still a good one. <laughs> that was a bit scared. Yeah, yeah. yeah this one is coming from my garage. So maybe not working yet. But the wind was. Yes, sir. Oh, Blair is so good. He's so good. Blair is so, good. Okay, so impressive. Good. 10, 20 meters away. But that's like what you want. Very good. You tricked me into thinking it was too far. <laughs> Elias, look, Colin. Are you feeling good, Elias? Good. No, but better. Oh, you don't even have your back? No. <laughs> Okay, hole 16, 180 meters, par 4. The only thing you have to do on this hole is get out of the gap on your first throw. Then the birdie gets quite easy. 
Uh, so yes, let's hit the gap. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. So you don't much know the way. So much mental resistance. You see, guys, you try to. Family. <laughs> oh my god. It slipped. Karma. Out of my. Oh, karma, yeah. Karma. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, nice. we have ever seen in this one. That's oh no, we can go longer. That's the gap. Yes, sir. All the way. Nice shot. Really nice shot. Solid. Max, <laughs> you. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm so sorry. It's a long putt. Like, this is so hard to read the distance. I would always measure it in the tournament. Yes, yeah, I agree. I had kind of no clue. I was just lazy to do it now. I have this measure at home, but it's so hard to aim, I feel like. Uh -huh. My hands shake too much. So I never hit the target, so I don't use it any, anyways. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hole 17 is par 3, same tee pad for MPO and FPO. It's just big hyzer over the trees. We should be able to see the flag there. And uh, yeah, there is uh, OB on the left side of the basket, but it's like in almost C2. Oh, that looks really good. fine. Should be good. Super overstable. Yeah. Jakub, why Kuba? Uh, that's that's just how it works in Czech Republic with name Jakub. It's like in English when you have a Robert, the short version is Bob. So short version of Jakub is Kuba. In the Czech Republic. Yes. Okay. So every Jakub is Kuba. Hi. Here we Yes, sir. Go in. It's so easier than uh, last year. Yep. Easy, easy. Wow. It's our first time. Yeah, right? man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh, not going no. there, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Geek. Thank you. Okay. Geek. Yee, yee. Okay, hole 18, finishing hole, lots of OB, but I don't think that much danger. When it comes to the tee shot, you just want to make it close to that tree, but not right under it, so you can, you're not blocked with your tee shot. You can either go a bit straighter and longer, long of the tee, or short with like mid-range or something, and then just the second shots, Maybe the most important one, you can mess it up because if you mess it up, then you get like two strokes penalty because you're not going to advance. So first shot, just make it in play. Second shot, just make it in play. Third shot, try to get close to the basket and tap it in for the win. Okay. That in bounds? Close. It, it, it's on the line. Okay, that's not good. 
Oh, come back. I mean, yeah, okay. Is that fine or it's is it? You can dirty from there, easy peasy. I'll try one more. Ah. This is a... Yeah, it was. Is that, uh, is that good? It's okay. It's, I think it would maybe 100 meters forehand or like... Yeah, but it's fine. Straight backhand. Oh, going for it, big guy. He is a big guy. Holy smokes. Okay. Big D. Hey. You can do it. No, hey. Hey, I'm not fucking... Okay, the chance you do it. One, I'm two, not ten. a if, Ronaldo if, fan. If I guess same number, you do it. One to ten, and we say it at the same time. Okay. Okay. Okay, I say three, two, one, and then we say the number. Okay. Okay, wait, let me think. Okay, three, two, one, four. Nine. I was thinking about four. Ah, I knew you were thinking about it. You tricked me. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. What is this, Max? This was insanely bad. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Nah. Oh, Mark. thank you, Max. Amazing. So we are done with uh, the practice round. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Very much. Thank you. Amazing, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you can uh, wait for all the contents, pre-event show, post-event show. We have an in the back coming with uh, Jakub Semerad, and, uh, and yeah, we'll see you this weekend in Copenhagen.